Hey guys, Link here of Time 550, and so today I'd like to show you guys how you all can dump your Switch's keys if you're on firmware version 6.2 or below. Now, thankfully, since my last video, there is a much, much easier way to dump your keys. A lot less things can go wrong, and all in all, it's just a million times easier than the past ways that I've shown off. So, yeah, also a lot of people have been showing up in my Discord server asking about keys, so I figured now would be a really good time to make a video, now that... You know, there's a much easier way to get them out, and it works on the latest firmware for sure, too. So, you're just going to need to download a few things. You're going to need first a way to get your Switch into RCM mode, and I recommend using this latest payload of Hecate CTC mod. Um, you know, this is just the payload that I like to use, but, you know, yeah, I recommend getting the latest version of that. And then also you're going to need to download this, which is SD files. Um, this is basically just... It's everything that you're going to need for custom firmware and for running, you know, homebrew apps and all that. Basically, you download this, you pretty much have everything you're going to need. So, yeah, definitely get this and the latest payload to run. And you're also going to need this Switch app to actually let you get your keys. So once you have all those, it's basically as simple as get your Switch's SD card, copy all the files over. Oh, well, I mean, I guess you don't need to download that separately because it comes with this but yeah basically just copy all these files over to your SD card and then just hit replace for anything that asks you if you want to replace it just hit replace you know and then after that you know we're just that's the payload so you don't really need that and then in your switch folder you're just gonna want to put this in here and if it asks you to replace just hit replace and that's pretty much all you need to do on your SD card now go insert that in your switch and then we're going to go put our switch into RCM mode. Okay guys, so now on your switch what you want to do is go down to console info, hit print fuse info, and then press the power button, and press the power button again, and now go down two options to print TSEC keys, press power button on that, Press the power button again, and then press it one more time. And then now that's all we need to do in here. So now you can just go back, hit launch, go down to custom firmware. Now keep in mind that this is Cosmos version 1.7, and this is also using that uh, Hecate play payload that I showed off earlier. So please keep in mind that things might change in the future. Things might look different, so... You know, feel free to check out my Discord server if you need help. And then now what you want to do, go down to Album, just as you would for any homebrew. And then now, head on over until you see a thing called Lockpick. You just want to hit A on that. And then hit A to dump your title keys too. And then that's pretty much all you need, so... Now you just hit plus, and then you can close out of that and power off your switch, and I'll see you guys back on the computer. Okay guys, so now that we've done that, if we go to the switch folder on our SD card, as you can see, now we have a new file called title.keys and prod.keys. Now these are both pretty important files, um, and once you copy them over, you don't need to keep them on your SD card, you can just delete these now. But this is your Switch's keys file. Now you can rename this to keys.dat, keys.txt, keys.ini, whatever you need. Or most things nowadays just use prod.keys. Like, because back when I made those videos before, they used to be always keys.dat. Now it's always prod.keys. So I'd recommend leaving it like this for most things. But, you know, you can change it to whatever you want. And title.keys, it's not exactly useful for, you know, your keys.txt or whatever you need. However, they are useful because it's basically the title keys for all your games. Now, what the title keys are is like, it's kind of hard to explain, but to put it simply, every game has a certain title ID and a certain title key, and they are different. And basically, if you have both, then you're sort of able to <laughs> download games from Nintendo servers. Uh, and you know, it also allows you to dump updates for games and stuff. So it can be used for some pretty bad stuff. However, you know, 
it is still nice to have these because like I said you can dump updates with it so that's always nice to do um, but yeah so that's actually just about it so I know this was a really short video um, but yeah that's how you get your keys from your switch it's super easy now compared to what you had to do before before it was like a whole huge process you need a Python you need all this this is it you just need to download a few things run them on your switch that's it that's all you need and it even gives you your title keys too which is nice um, but yeah, aside from that, um, I would like to apologize that it's been a really long time since I haven't made just a normal video. I've been busy live streaming lately. Um, you know, I just kind of live stream games casually for the most part. I don't do like speed running or anything, so overall it's pretty casual. And I've been having a lot of fun with that, but I've also been really busy with schoolwork and all this, so yeah. But aside from that, I think that's going to do it for this video, so thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.